He may be crooked, but he's still bendable. He should look at the Noble Collection Toys, The Conjuring Universe, The Crooked Man, Bendy Figs. Based on the 2016 movie The Conjuring 2, this haunted zeotrope toy torments Ed and Lorraine Warren. There was a crooked man. He walked a crooked mile. Play and display these authentic, intricate figures from your favorite brands come in a unique and flexible form. Before we start bending crooked limbs, let me first thank the folks over at Noble Collection Toys that did provide this sample of the Conjuring Universe bendy fig of the Crooked Man. Now we can have a look at this video. Let's go ahead now and grab the ruler just to see how tall the figure stands. The Crooked Man is seven and a half inches in height or 19 centimeters tall. Then to compare the Crooked Man with some other bendy figs we've looked at lately here on this channel, we can bring in the Conjuring Universe Annabelle. Uh, proportionally, yes, they're not going to be scaled right. Annabelle probably would have only gone to about the knee or mid-thigh of the Crooked Man, but still, she is uh, both going to, I guess, what the mouth or so of the Crooked Man. We just also recently had a look at Reagan. Again, not probably the most proportionally accurate, but still, it gives you an idea. The Crooked Man is a lot taller than the other two and quite thin as well. Get a gander now at the accessories that come include with the Crooked Man. As with the cases before, he comes include with a display stand. The display stand isn't that much different from the ones we've gotten before, with the raised painted surface of the cracks. I like the look of that. Two pegs, of course, that's going to attach the underside of Crooked Man's feet. And then Conjuring 2 down below that, just to show you what movie he's pulled from. On the bottom of the display base, it also shows the Noble Collection toys. Conjuring 2 and all related characters and elements are property of Warner Brothers Entertainment. And as you can see, sunken into the molding of the plastic is the Bendy Figs logo. This, of course, is going to become quite crucial when it comes to displaying the figure. Although I got to say, like, the Crooked Man as a Bendy Fig seems to stand a lot better than some of the ones we've looked at before. It also helps, too, I think his feet are a lot flatter than, say, the likes of Annabelle. For his other accessories, the Crooked Man comes included with his hat. It's one of those rare instances, first of all, that we even have ourselves a Crooked Man collectible, but the fact that his hat is something that is removable, it usually is always attached to the figure. You can see the detailing done to that just alone. They've sculpted the glasses, raising it from the surface of the hat, and painted it nicely in black with the little dotted eyes in the middle of that. I love, love the design of Crooked Man. Of course, this can fit onto his head. Let's go ahead and pick the figure up right now. Maybe what I'll do first of all is to show you guys what the head sculpt looks like underneath the hat. If this is something you wish to display without the hat. Although I got to say, like displaying him with the hat is the way to go for me. I really like the look of the sunken in eyes, the wrinkled face, as well as the very big smile that he has from what would have been his ear to ear. But his ears are sort of absent and missing. The coloring is really good on this guy, too. I like the darker gray that they decided to go with and the very nice bright very off yellow uh, teeth that they've also uh, painted onto the figure as well. And of course, yeah, you can take the hat, the boulder hat, and put that over top of his head. I like to push it down as far as I can get it so you get that really nice low look. I mean, you really could have it slightly higher as well if you prefer. I think I'd much rather have the hat as low down as I can get it. That finishes half at least the look of the, the Crooked Man. Of course, the other thing you would want to display him with is his Crooked Umbrella. I don't know how good of a job it's going to be to keep the rain off of him, but the Crooked Man can hold the umbrella either by handle like this, or what you can also do too is you can take the end of the, the Crooked Umbrella and put it into his not-so-crooked hand, and you can display it like that way as well. This figure, i got to say to its credit, has a lot more bendable limbs. It also probably helps to his cause that he has such very thin limbs to start off with, but it really works well to really get the bending action going. I mean, you really can sell the idea that this guy can bend quite a bit because he does have such very thin looking limbs. The holes are still present there. And the reasoning why they put holes in wireframe figures is that while, while they are casting the mold on the wireframe, those holes actually keep the wire in place. Something I wasn't aware of in, initially. But yeah, you can take the umbrella and you can put it like kind of on his shoulder if you wanted to. That's a good way of displaying the figure. And yeah, all the joints, because they have that wire frame, at least in this case, hold the bend. You can get the bend out on his arms, for example. You can get a full bend in his elbows. And yeah, you can 
You can just have his arms really straight if you want to. I think for my own personal display, I think I'm likely going to go the route of this, or even possibly just taking the umbrella and spinning it around, and have him displayed holding the handle in his of his umbrella instead. And yeah, you can pull that off fairly, fairly effectively. The only thing that you have to worry about really is getting the lining up of that that you don't, in the process, of course, knock off his hat. Maybe it might even work better a little bit the other way around. Anyways, we'll put the umbrella to the side. Give you guys quiz quickly a look at what the umbrella looks like. Yeah, not really going to be doing a great job of holding back the rain. And by the way, I do like the sculpting that they've also put to the handle of it, giving a nice wood finish. Very cool umbrella. As for the detailing on the rest of the figure, I know we've certainly already spent some time. His hat keeps popping off to look at the figure's head sculpt. But one last opportunity available, I'll provide it certainly when I have it, to show you guys what it looks like up close, like this really interesting designed he head and body for this character. I think as far as I know, we are still supposed to be getting ourselves a Crooked Man standalone solo film. We sort of know the backstory behind it. It'd be really interesting to see like how he becomes the Crooked Man. Uh, certainly is a long, lanky-looking, tall glass of water. The coloring on all of this guy is really nice, that dark burgundy color. It's sort of like the way his costume looks, it looks like the bark of a tree. I like the way that they've at least sculpted it, that those little lines have been carved into the material. They haven't just painted the stripes. There's a lot of time and effort that they've put into this. The long-tailed jacket, of course, they sports with the tails on the bottom of it. They've even gone as far as to paint in the little buttons there on the bottoms of his cuffs. Again, I don't feel like any detail was spared here when it comes to the Crooked Man. And maybe one of the reasons why I think this guy is so far the best bendy fig that we've looked at from the Noble Collection toys. Certainly when it comes to the bendable aspects of him, you can kind of spin him around and sort of see. Like, he's got the wire frame in his legs, he's got the wire frame in his arms, even on the back of his head. Now, the thing about the back of his head, though... Even though he does have a, a wire frame, really, in, in essence, you really can't bend the neck as well as I would hope. Usually the rule of thumb when it comes to these bendy figs is the thicker the material that they put over top of the frame, the less likely you're able to bend it. But at least because he does have thinner limbs, you can bring those arms up quite easily, and they hold that bend. You can bring the arms up, so it looks like he's sneaking up behind somebody and wanting to fright them, scare them. Ooh, I didn't realize you were there, Crooked Man. Of course, you can also do the same thing with the legs. The legs, you can bend back, you can bring forward, you can also bend out this way. And I guess really, providing you have really one foot attached to the display stand, that's more than enough to really keep the figure from falling over. Why, oh why, it's still more crucial, I think, to include a display stand in the first place. Yeah, you can kind of have slightly off to the side, but at least you can have the Crooked Man sort of in a walking pose. Yes, yes, mileage may vary. Maybe it's probably a better idea just to have him attached by both pegs. And yeah, just to finish off the look, once again, we'll get the umbrella in his hand. Put it just onto his shoulder. Bring his arm down. Not lose the hat in the process. Nice looking crooked man. Uh, I may have also said this too when we looked at the nun Valak. Yeah, can I even get his elbow, his elbow properly bent? I had made this point when we looked at the nun Valak. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy on his display stand that this might be the best example, one of the best examples we've gotten for a Crooked Man collectible. There really isn't that many available when you really think about it. He is a little bit on the crooked side, but not really many Crooked Man collectibles to go around. I think Bendy Figs, the Noble Collection Toys Bendy Figs of the Conjuring Man might be one of the best ones we've gotten. Uh, the proportions are good. He's a good tall size, good tall drink of water. And while he may not necessarily scale in with the likes of Annabelle, I mean, Annabelle should have been a lot shorter than what she is. Uh, she, of course, had to have the sizing in there so they could be able to incorporate the articulation. Bendy Fig of, of uh, Crooked Man might be my favorite that they've done so far. Really nice work. Really nice work from the Noble Collection Toys. Horror characters come in all different shapes and sizes, but when it comes to translating that to a bendy fig, there are certain characters that work a little bit better than others. Now, you've got an example here of the Crooked Man, who already started as a long, lanky-looking character in the movie. Translating that, of course, to a bendy fig is a no-brainer, because you're dealing with a lot less material wrapping around the wire frame. Not only does he look really good, but he's probably one of the best bendy fig that we've looked at so far from the Noble Collection toys. I mean, we can't just applaud the fact he's a super bendable figure where he actually can bend his elbows and his knees, but 
Aesthetically, he looks great too. He looks like he's from the film. He does have the removable hat. He also comes in clue with an extra umbrella that you can display with or without the character. And because he does actually have the means to bend his elbow, you can literally have him having the, el the actual umbrella on top of his shoulder, like I've got here in Final Looks. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to be displaying it like that, but I always like the idea when you have a bendy fig that actually can bend. Sometimes, of course, when you're dealing with a bigger, bulkier character, when, when we looked at, for example, Reagan and Annabelle, just by the proportions of their body, it makes things a lot harder. That wireframe's got to work a whole lot more underneath the body suit. Don't have that problem at all with the Crooked Man. Not only one of the best bendy figs that we've looked at from a bending standpoint, but one of the best bendy figs that we've looked at certainly from an aesthetic or the way he looks standpoint. A big thank you, though, to the folks over at Noble Collection Toys that did provide this sample, the Bendy Figs, the Crooked Man, that we can have a look at in this review. What do you guys think of the figure? Let me know down below in the comments section. And if you are new to this channel, you're enjoying the content that you're seeing, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell notification so you get those friendly reminders. And popping up at the very end of this review will be a playlist of all the other Bendy Figs that I've looked at here on this channel, with many more to come. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.